she gotta do is get in with me. Uh, get in, 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 get in. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Alright, to a good, to a good podcast, millions coming soon. I'm finna fuck this podcast up because I'm finna be the realest y'all ever heard and ever seen. Shouts to that. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Rose, checking back in with another podcast, y'all ain't know. We in the car, episode 10. Who we got today? Who we got today? Yes, sir. One of these special episodes you know, that I was excited for, too. I ain't gonna lie, I was excited for one of these, too. Who we got in the car today? That's Unk, a.k.a. Randell, A.B.K. Randell. Randell, that's my real name. Mr. Handsome. Whatever y'all want to call him. Mr. Whatever. Viral, whatever y'all want to call him. We're going to pop some shit. Whatever y'all want to call him. Well, we finna go to, we finna turn up with this episode, you know, we finna For have sure. some fun, speak some real shit, you know, speak on a lot of topics. How you feeling though today, Uncle? How you, how you feeling right now? I only came out to do this interview because I only came out tonight. So I only came out and put on some clothes, so I wanted to do this interview with my nephew. So, the only reason I came out. That's why I told her, I said, shit, we gotta be working, man. We, we, we be partying like y'all be seeing us partying and all that, but behind closed doors, shit, you know, we be taking care of business and shit. For sure. You know? Dead is before anything. Yeah, you know, kids and all that. Now I often say, uh, I got, I got a lot of questions though. I got a lot of questions for you. Sorry, though. I, know why I just, I just want to see. Hey, I want to see look, what I want to start. Hold on, but this is the crazy thing. My nephew know everything. I don't hold no secrets with him. This man that's knows a, see, everything. That's a, see, that's the so if anything ever happened to me. He know, like, right or wrong. I tell him everything. If I'm in the wrong, I did some bogus. Motherfucker said some bogus to me. I keep it real mm-hmm. with him. So he, got, he know everything. If he got birth or anything. What's <laughs> 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 oh, nah. up? Nah. Nah. See, that's the thing. Like, what's I can ask him a lot of stuff. I'm trying to ask him some stuff, like, uh, speaking of, for y'all can know. Because I already know everything. So I got to ask questions just for y'all. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I can Because I know y'all be nosy anyway. Y'all and, 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 and I'm going to say this, though. Like, I'm really him. Like, and there's no cap. I can pop my shit in every way. That's why I'm like, nephew, fuck that. Let's get in. Because I'm going to talk my shit because motherfuckers be acting like I ain't that when they know I'm that. And I can pop it. when I say that, in every category, I'm trending. Every category. What you want to talk about? Shoom. What you want to talk about? Girls. What you want to talk about? Jail. What you want to talk about? Being a grown man. What you want to talk about? Being a daddy. I'm all of that. I done been through all of that. Don't let this face fool you. Please don't let this face get you fucked up. All right, speaking on that, like, what, what's like, what's your like, how your upbringing was, father? So where you from? Like, tell them where you from, and people that don't know. Uh, Chicago Heights, East Side, two eighty three, Twelfth Street, the projects, the only projects that was down there, originally Keyhole, all that shit. But um, I don't know. My I was a bad boy. That's all I can say. I was a bad boy. And what I mean by a bad boy, I was one of the guys that they be like, don't hang around him. A lot of niggas couldn't hang with us. Me, 50, Big Man, Man Man, Cole, like, Reese, PL, RPPL, like, them, these, like, day ones. Like, a lot of niggas. So, sure. you know? So, like, you say, like, when, like you growing up in the hood, like, you say, like, it molded you to the to the man you is today. Like, as far as everything you've been through as a child and then just growing up. Yeah. And the difference is, like, I don't know, we was just raised... Like the way we was raised, it wasn't like we tried. We didn't. We ain't try to do anything. But it's just like when I'm I'm grown now. So when I look back, like the bad boy I was, and then transition, getting older, going to jail, doing certain shit. It's like with the lifestyle I live, I'm like, damn, I kind of I can see myself doing that because I didn't. I did that. Like just doing shit, and it was natural to me. It wasn't like trying or none of that. Like, so like. Would you grow up like did you have like big homies or people around you telling you like to do the right thing or they was just telling you Whatever you was down with they was with it or they was getting you like all right now nah, don't, so, do don't do this don't do that. That's the difference Big bro P Matt the whole K-Dub all them big brothers to me the whole K-Dub uh, Cole um, Like all of them, but I ain't gonna lie like They wouldn't really tell like I wish my motherfucker told me like go get a job like shit like that like go get a job like work a job Same i wish a motherfucker told me. me that like go get a job do that like but a motherfucker was sending me off like go do this i was doing that and a motherfucker was protecting me and gagging me and shout out big bro p mac uh my, my big brother mal 
the whole cater up because like we got passes for them like i can do some bad shit to a nigga and they say something like, i'm gonna go get my big brother so i got passed for them and this the thing i want to tell people like give your respect and your credit to motherfuckers like that was before you i don't give a fuck how big you get how squanty they get if a motherfucker showed you love and like put you in a position when you was young or you see a motherfucker like and they get older don't try to look boy them because now they're in a different situation and you feel like you bigger than them. I'm always have respect for the whole K-Dub, uh, all them big bros. Like my big bro P-Mac, he molded me. Uh, Coleon, certain niggas. I'm just always having my respect for them. Don't get no fuck how big or how little they get. I have my respect for them. So shout out to them. Everybody, you know? So like when you uh speaking on your childhood uh growing up or whatever uh we do we did I ain't gonna lie, we did a lot too. Uh he ain't influenced me to do no bad shit. No, no bad shit. shit. He ain't influenced me. It just, you know, it was just who he it was just in him. He like, yeah. I ain't gonna say uncle bad person, you feel me? But you went to jail. How how long you you went to jail? When the first time you ever went to jail? Like when was the first time you ever got locked up? Like uh, how old was you? I was fifteen. Oh five. How long you do using what using the Idy home or something? I was in no, nah, I was locked up in Minnesota. I did a robbery in Minnesota, and I uh, I did a year out there. I did a robbery in Minnesota, then I did a year out there. I was juvenile. I was only fifteen. I came home. I was sixteen. That's my first time I started bid. Uh, my first bid. So what was the other, like what was the other ones? And you went to jail because you you spent a lot a lot a lot of time in jail. So okay, so I did a year. Come For home. Those who don't know. Or I did a year. Came home. I was out. For nine months, I got locked up 07 uh, August. Then I did another six years. That was for armed robbery again because the concept was like, oh, I'm going to outsmart these people. Like, I got caught with robbery. I know what I did wrong this time. So now, nah, for this robbery, I know how I'm going to do shit. And end up the same way. Did six years. Though I was only 17. Came on when I was 23. Like, my whole teenage life was gone. Then after that, Came home, still yeah, playing games, had a gun, got caught with a gun, had to go back and do another three years. So I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of my years, I've been in jail. A lot of my years, so that, that's, and that's why I just say like, niggas yeah. know me. Like when I say they know me, like, oh nine, I was in the joint doing the bid. Like niggas was just jumping off the point, jump, jumping off the porch. I was in the joint, like fuck the county. I was, I was in the joint. Oh mm -hmm. nine, so it's just like I've been advanced before a lot of niggas, but niggas know this, and I ain't saying I ain't talking no shit. No, I ain't putting no niggas facts. down, but I'm just saying it's, it's facts. facts. Like when we say who's off the porch, Randell's off the porch. Out of the guys, I'm the first one start doing robberies, like doing the first bid, like the long bid. Then all my guys started doing bids, like, but I was the first one, like, in that bitch, like being while them niggas out there living life, having kids. That's why I didn't have no kids. I was 28. Shit happens. You did, you did that. Damn. Shit happens. I didn't know you, when you did your six year being, you, you, you came out, you was 20, you was 23? I was 23. Damn, I ain't even, I ain't Funny know. Funny thing is, this That's nigga crazy. so, this nigga so crazy, bro. Look, I go to jail, this nigga, uh, he come to see me. I used to have my, uh, my ex bring him to come see me every time. Like, everybody I fucked it with was locked in with him, because he know, like, this, you know, that's me. Everybody I fucked with, they was locked in with him. It's just crazy, though, because one time, like, I look up, folks is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm calling them, like, I'm like, Ain't nobody really, they ain't, I was young, I was a kid. But they ain't really, like, they ain't really, like, 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 really want to tell me, so they, like, like, they ain't really say nothing. They kept, like, you know, brushing it off, and then to, like, I think my grandma, his mama, I think, like, she told him, like, he in jail. Or well, my daddy, like, he in but jail. But you know the only thing is, so, man, when shit happens, excuse me. When shit happened, this is what people don't think about. We don't think about the people we affect. Like, when I was doing all that bad shit because I didn't have kids, I wasn't thinking, like, I wasn't thinking about nobody. I was just thinking about Randell. But it's just, like, you got to think about your mama. You got to think about, like, the people who love you. Like, when you doing something, you really got to think about them because it hurt them. And, you know, like, I, was, I, I never thought about, like, how he felt or, like, what he was thinking. I'm just, like... I'm the one doing the bid, so ain't nobody mad or ain't nobody said or ain't nobody feel, don't nobody feel how I feel. But you know, people's hurt. People's hurt. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I was confused. I was a shorty, so I was confused. I ain't gonna lie, shit. Like I said, I kept calling around or whatever, looking for him. One year gone, two year gone, then I'm knowing he got to do this bid and shit. Like I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm gonna say the mindset of doing that bid, like I was strong, but the only reason I was strong because I had a brother that got locked up. 
and he was calling my mama phone and he was acting a certain way and my mom was crying every day because he couldn't handle himself in there so it made i told myself like if i ever get in the gym and i already did that little bit but i was man up but that was juvenile so i'm like that wasn't shit mm -hmm. but i always told myself like if i get in the gym i'm gonna take that shit on the chin and i ain't gonna call my mama crying I feel in no type of way, even if I do, just to make her feel good. So even when I was feeling hurt, sad, down, depressed, I kept that shit to myself and I took it in because I'm just like, my mama already stressing about me. I want to put the other, the extra burden on her. So I had to be strong for just myself in the situation. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you strong. You know, yeah, shit. I ain't doing six years. I shit didn't want no choice. I had shit. to do it. But I'm gonna tell you this. I, I ain't gonna lie, boy. That shit. That you shit can do tough. time, or you can let time do you. I did the time, cause I was mm -hmm. in that bitch working my man body. I came out this bitch. How you post come out that bitch strong, focused, looking good. Like all my mentality was like all the bitch that shit on me. I finna come on shit on y'all looking good. Like, and I came home, I did that. I fucked it all of them again and I played them. I ain't make nobody my girl. That's what like, you gotta do. don't play with me. I feel like that's don't what play with me. Any situation when you go down, when you go down bed, you gotta keep a, a positive, strong master. Cause everybody wanna see you down. They wanna see you like, you know, hurting or whatever. They wanna see that shit. So, when you're back against the wall, I, ain't I tell lie. people at the end of the day, no the matter how many, how many people you love or love you or whatever, at the end of the day, you gotta take care of yourself. Like, sure. You gotta do what's best. For you not for in sure. a selfish way just it's for you because sure. you you know they say stress can kill you but i would just say like you 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 how you grew up and then you went to jail for all them years like you say that molded you to the man who you is today fully completely like it taught you a lot mm -hmm. even with life too like life shit, deaths all that shit, it, it molded you who you is today mm -hmm. do you ever think like you'll go back to jail like for a long time do you ever think about that shit, like, i ain't gonna I make lie this like, like when I, I, this? I ain't gonna lie and it's the crazy thing and i'm gonna say this when I was in jail, I didn't have no kids. And I had a celly that had kids. And at nighttime, he'd pull out the pictures and start crying. But we'd just be talking about some shit. And he'd be, like, telling me a story, like, I could tell. And I'd be like, this bitch-ass nigga, because he crying about his kids or he ain't crying. But now that I'm a daddy, I see this shit firsthand. I said it to say, like, I don't want to do no more bids. Like, just because it'll fuck me up. Because now I understand, like, why that man was crying. Because... When you had kids, that shit different. Like, when I did biz, thank God, I didn't have kids. So all I had to think about was Randell. I didn't have kids. So mm -hmm. that's the good part. Like, now when you got kids, like, even when I pick up a gun or I do something, like, right today, the first thing is, like, damn, I'm going to be away from my kids. Or is this shit worth it? Because I don't want to be away from my kids. Like, that's how I look at it. Like, so I'm not scared, but I got to move like a man. Like fuck all that. I gotta move so like a man. What you saying? You, move, you gotta move like a man. What's your advice to? It's 2024. You know the shorties. It's, it's a whole new ball game. It ain't like how y'all was. Even though y'all was wow, it ain't no structure. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't no control nowadays. So like, what advice you got to the shorties like nowadays? This that, that, that want to do this shit like. I ain't gonna not lie. not the ones that's that they they got into it because they had to get in it. I'm talking about the ones that's like that want to tow the gun. That want to just be in the streets. Man, look, and this the best advice I can give. And I'm not gonna count. I get this to my nephew every time. I say, just be yourself. And with that being said, whoever you lose, whoever you don't fuck with, whoever don't fuck with you, that's cool. Not having ops is cool. I tell this nigga that all the time. Like, that's why I say that's, like, I ain't no big homie to him. I'm just his uncle. But I didn't raise him. I didn't groom him. So if I say I had a shorty or somebody under me, this is who I say. And he moved exactly how I moved. So this is a reflection of me. Like, he can go where he want to go. He can do what he want to do. This is the best hand. I talked to a shorty. I talked to a shorty and I asked him. I'm talking I'm because I'm being real. I talked to La Clapper. I said, look, bro, if you didn't have ops, would you would would you want want to have ops? He said, hell yeah, bro, because I can't move how I want to move. And it's a fact. Like when you got ops, you can't move how you want to move. You can't even do like local shit with your girl. Like you gotta worry about certain shit. You can't. So it's just like it's the best hand not to have no ops and to go where you can go, where you want to go. This man go wherever he want to go. Be around whoever he want. He ain't got shit to do with nothing. This the perfect hand. That's the perfect hand. So I'm going to say, if you don't have no ops, you're not in tour with nobody. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you got the best hand. Stick with that. Fuck all that. Want to be cool shit. Them niggas die out and them niggas go to jail. RP like them niggas go to jail and shout out my nigga 50. Like, just to get a name, nigga, you end up on the other side. And when you on the other side, all that gangster shit you was about and talking, that shit be dead in them same niggas that you... Talking about love you and all this click shit. Them niggas ain't ran with you. All you got is your mommy and a bitch. Like, I know this shit. Like, I never...
shit. And then you got if you ain't got nobody that, a bitch that's really down for you, shit, it'd be hard, shit. So why y'all just, out? And I'm just, I, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say this: Why y'all out here? If y'all playing in the field, make sure you got a bitch for you, because all these bitches break bed when your back against the wall. Like, and what I say is for you is. You doing for you, showing her love and all that. But if you dog with a motherfucker out here, when you go to jail, what they gonna do to you? They gonna fuck over you. So it's just like, say, if you playing a dangerous game, gotta have loyalty with a motherfucker that you fuck with so they can fuck with that you just, the same way. I like, feel like that real. just period. Like, cause it's just period. Cause nowadays these, these, these females moving in a whole different direction. So if you go to jail behind bars, you locked up, they can't see you, touch you, feel you, fuck you or none of that. Shit, hey, that's a that's a dangerous ass game, bro. But y'all know this though, like y'all going through this shit, like y'all know this, y'all seeing this, y'all, y'all go to jail for something, and niggas don't fuck with y'all, and y'all come home and fuck these same niggas and line y'all self up to get in the same position. Best game, I'm telling y'all, I can give y'all, even if you got a op, you got a family member or somewhere in another state or two hours away, like, and you can go there. Go do that shit, man. Ain't shit in the heights, ain't shit in the birds, ain't shit in the city. Like, live y'all life. Like, I'm seeing niggas down. I don't even Amen. know niggas, but I got compassion because I'm just like, this shit out of hand. This shit out of, like, it's getting out of hand. Like, for real, this shit ain't even cool no more. Like, this shit ain't even cool no more. Just like, for my city, Lil' Wild Blocks, Lil' Cheeves, like, I want y'all niggas to live. Like, I want y'all niggas to live, like... I'm gonna for how nobody feel like I knew so, some I knew some of them shorts like Lil Jack. I knew Lil Jack. I was over there fuck with Lil Jack. Like I knew Chico. These was the main ones around Lil Guzma. All these niggas was around when I first started coming around. Like I knew them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm from out east, so I know all the cheap shorts, but it's just like I hate that this shit had to go this far with y'all because y'all losing people at a rapid pace and it's just like being at an early ass age. And I'ma be real. Y'all ain't even seeing 28, and I'm gonna 27. Be real. That's ridiculous. I'm ABK. We was beef with the STOs. I'm glad we squashed it, that shit and it didn't go as far shit, as it could have went. Cause it's like that shit would have probably been ongoing. So I know y'all pen, I understand it, but it's just like how many y'all gonna have to die or go through this shit and to see that it to, didn't work. To it. understand it. That shit is not worth it. I it's like when that. somebody takes somebody out, like, damn, I gotta get back. Okay, you get back, but then it's like now you the target and it's just like y'all little brothers growing up. And I'm gonna tell you the cycle of this shit. It was Kate up, and it was Hickory Click. They was beefing. That's how my big bros for out east. That's y'all big bros for out west. Then it was the STOs and ABK. That's my click. That's Reg and them click, Pujik and them click. We was beefing. Now, it's the Chiefs, and now it's Wild Block. East side, west side. That's how this shit always been. But don't y'all see the cycle what I'm saying? My big brothers... Y'all uncles, y'all big brothers, us, and then the shorties that come up under us. Not saying like cheating them my shorties, but Just, they're the generation the under next, us. Yeah, that's the next generation. So it's like now you got to do it, and I don't know who the other shorties under the wire, but it's just like this shit keep on trickling down. Like damn, like this shit fucked up, and it's just like hell nah. Like teach these shorties like and y'all, and this the thing. Give a motherfucker an option and really tell him how, like, how this shit go. Give him an option and tell him, like, this what come with this shit. Like, are you really ready for this shit? Or go to school. But a real big brother, a big homie, be like, nah, you ain't following my tracks. That's why this nigga, he a gangster because all our family gangsters. So that's just by nature. But he don't gang bang. He don't gang bang. He ain't in tour with nobody. And he got the best hand. That's what I told him. Nigga, I did time. I went to jail. When I did time, I did time for us. Like, you ain't got to go through this shit to see that it hurt. I'm going to tell you that it hurt. I'm going to tell you I had sad nights. I'm going to tell you bitches left me. I'm going to tell you it wasn't fun. Like, and that's that's the thing. Like, niggas be going to jail and y'all come home. But, nigga, tell when you in that bitch and you sad. Tell them when you, when you can't right, call that girl that. and you crying and you feeling a certain type of way. Your heart hurt. Like, tell them that shit. Like, y'all out here capping like this shit fun. Like... If you don't know me, you don't know I went to jail. Because it ain't something I'm bragging about. Like, I don't have to tell a person that to make myself feel tough. Like, if you know Randell, then you're going to be like, Randell did just, time. That's just your life. That just, but it's the truth. I'm not bringing up that shit to try to feel tough. Like, niggas be trying to glorify jail. Like, ain't shit cool about jail at all. Like, I, I did like. it because I had to. And I had to man up because I, I, I did some shit. But, nigga, every day I heard it in that bitch. Like, what? It hurt it. Not fucking. Got to sleep with a nigga. Got to beat my dick. 
Sometimes not making commissary, motherfuckers not answering the phone, like, motherfuckers talking to me crazy, like, bitch, you wanna talk to me, like, what? That hurt. Y'all niggas need to know, That's jail fact. hurt, it hurts. Shit, I did two days. It grooms you, but it hurt. I did two days, shit. <laughs> hey, that shit ain't no joke, shit. That shit hurt. Like, when shit cool about jail, it was that days shit. in there, like, I'm praying every night, like, See? God, get me up out of here, like, I had to have faith, get me up out of here, but... That shit hurt, but you no, know, and, and that's another story, and that's another thing. Niggas go to jail and they be whole different persons. Like, ask about me in jail. Like I say, I gave a lot of niggas passes. Like, I, I, I heard a lot. I of gave stories. a lot of niggas passes. Like from the heights, all oh, you from the heights, you ain't know that with him. And niggas know it. they could vouch for it. I ain't gonna put nobody on blast. I heard, I heard a lot of jail but stories. I gave niggas passes. Y'all know who y'all is. Like, don't from stun on sides. Randell. Don't cap on Randell, cause you can't. I'm gonna fuck. Had his face look. I take care of myself because I like looking good and I like feeling good. But nigga ain't shit sweet about me when it comes to nothing. You niggas can't compare to me and we just talking facts. Fuck money. Fuck. All. I'm talking about credibility, loyalty, like down, like stood 10 toes. Like always. I always stood 10 toes about everything. If I had a problem with you in the same room, nigga, I'm addressing it. I'm not the nigga that if I got a problem with you. I'm acting like I'm walking right past you, nigga. Every nigga know that I had a problem with him. I addressed him when I seen him. And if it's smoke, when I see you, nigga, ain't no talking. And that's just for real, for real. So I'm not in tour with nobody. All that beefing over a bitch or sideways over a bitch, I don't play them games. I'm not in tour with nobody. So I can go as I please. But for y'all that don't know me, I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that. And I don't give a fuck who looking at this. I'm not that. I'm, I'm going to pop my shit because I can I done did everything I needed to do to pop my shit. Like I said, every category, I'm valid. Holes, jails, shootouts, street credit, 10 toes. I'm valid. Nobody ever ran me from my hood. Nobody ever told me I couldn't come to my hood. I'm valid. And if it was smoke in my hood, I still came to my hood. I'm valid. Same. Hey, man. Hey, I'm speaking the truth, though. I'm valid. I know firsthand, though. So like, He be with me. Like, I don't this really got to, I don't know, you know. I'm gonna let him because this, this is what we doing. But I'm gonna let him speak. But I ain't gotta really say too much. It's real shit. That's all I know. Y'all, all I can say, my advice to y'all, me being young and like uh, say shit, follow his footsteps in so many different ways. Shit, just listen. That's all y'all gotta do is listen and take heed to this shit and be yourself and be your own man and and, and go down your own path. It's cool, like okay, everybody been in the streets or did this and did that. That's all right. Okay, cool. But it's like, what's the bigger picture? What's your plan? Like, what's, and I'm what, 34, what's so I'm going to say this. Me? I'm 34. So for the still be the same young me was still doing some shit, I'll be a goofy to be the same young me or doing shit like I'm young. I have kids now. So when you see the mature Randell, the working Randell, listen to songs, singing songs, like this is who I am. I can be vulnerable because I know who I am deep yeah, down inside. I can be vulnerable. Mad, I don't get no fuck like... I set the trends. If I say it's cool, it's cool. Because if I say it's cool, it's cool. I want to wear pink. Anything I want to do, if I say it's cool, it's cool to me. So if I say it's cool, I'm not looking for no validation. So I be singing. I work out. I do all type of shit. I probably wear hoochie daddy shorts. I don't get no fuck, but it don't take nothing from who I am. I'm Randell. And when I was in the streets, I was ABK Randell. But uh, the main thing is I always been comfortable in my skin. Ain't nobody ever sent me off. Ain't nobody ever told me what to do. Don't nobody leave me. And with ABK, it's not no chiefs in ABK because we all Indians. Like, we all Indians. Everybody got plugged. Everybody got... Everybody paved the way. Charlie Wally, YD, me, Nikita, Milo, like, Milky, so, like, so, everybody. So, Jovi, like, everybody. Like, we all paved the way. Some like, of was getting bitched. I heard we were up or something. I don't know. So, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> some, but they know who they is. I ain't nah, gotta put them nah, out. They nah, know no who they is. And, nah, they, and it don't it don't work. It don't it don't affect me because I'm everybody, I mean, yeah, everybody they own, man. Everybody different at the end of the day. Certain shit happens to it's certain bitches, people. It's certain bitches certain and snitches and it's hoes in every yeah, click. Yeah. Every nigga not valid in every click. Yeah. Just because y'all 50, right. y'all 30 deep is probably only 10 of y'all solid. It's always been like that. Thanks. I know I'm a solid one. I know I'm 10 toes. I know they can vouch for me. I was there. They was there. They know what I did. They know, like, it's no cap. Like, when I'm in my raps, like, even rapping, like, come on, man. So, like, what you, uh, what I was going to say, like, you, everything you've been through, okay? So, like, what's your, what's your goal now? Like, what's your, what's your, like, what's your mindset at right now? Like, what's your, what's your goal? 
I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be an entrepreneur. I work right now, but I don't want to work, and I don't like working. But I know my bigger goal ain't paying off right now, so I have to do this. So if you want to sit around and be broke, that's cool. I'm gonna go do what I got to do to get some money. So right now I work a job, but the long the long haul goal is to be an entrepreneur. Like I want to own shit. I am gonna own shit. I'm gonna be a millionaire. We you gonna be a millionaire. You, uh, you want to do like the. Uh, the Father's working out and shit. Like you like to work out. You like to work out a lot. So like you want to like really teach a lot of people and I just want to. I ain't gonna motivate lie. a lot of people I wanna, to work I wanna, out. I want to. I want to do. The I kids. feel like it's like for the kids for me. I feel say I could, you could do kids and adults because a lot of adults nowadays they really want to work but out. They lazy, but they lazy. But they really lazy, man. It's a mindset thing. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't like people that procrastinate. Be lazy with that shit. Like when I first went to jail in 05, I didn't have weight. Since then, so everybody know me from having weight since 05. Like once I first got that weight on me and did that year, you was I'm like, I well. like this shit. So how, 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 how much you do think you weighed? I probably was like you was you was. I probably was like 155, 160, and ever since Same then like I've been like I've been 190, 195. Like right now I'm 190. But I like working out because I like the way it look. I like the way my clothes fit. I like the compliments I get from it, and it's me. Like if I fall off and lose weight, they gonna say. Randy got some around like all the rumors coming like nah I'm gonna uh, be the negativity. nigga that yeah I'm gonna be the nigga that keep it and so, niggas will see me and say you still got it nigga I'm 20 years in with this shit what y'all don't understand it's a lifestyle I'm not losing this shit this shit not going nowhere it's a lifestyle I'm and funny. when it come to this workout shit we're gonna speak facts I <laughs> I've been the first nigga that started this shit like started this shit like can't nobody say all Randell following nobody trend when it come to shit. I was the first nigga doing this workout shit. I was the first. I'm the I'm the most consistent with doing this workout shit. So I don't get no fuck who got weight, who got weight. Like man, like, I don't care. I've been doing this shit. I'm in my own. Not life. even. I ain't gonna say even recording. Just shit. Since like you say, shit. You been in jail. Man, shit. I'm the when reason. First, I'm the reason. A lot of niggas want to work out. A lot of niggas working out. Ain't nobody trend oh, when it come to working out. I was the first nigga doing it. I don't give a fuck who you talking to. I'm the first nigga doing it, and I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that, and I'm the longest nigga with the consistency of working out and going, like, working out. I'm the longest nigga with consistency. Everybody go to jail. You give him six months. They be like, oh, he bigger than Randell. You give him six months, the nigga little. Like, I tell niggas the long haul, consistency. Let's you keep this shit, and I'm always the nigga that keeps that shit. Dude. I ain't been in jail for seven years. Yeah, I ain't been in jail for seven years, and I ain't going back to jail. I ain't been in jail for seven years, and I still got my weight. You going really eight, because you got out with my senior. Yeah, mm. I, I've been out of school that long. But yeah, with your consistency and whatever, like, yeah. He, I ain't going to lie, I've been, I've, I've been having closed doors. I ain't with no internet or phone calls, rumors, or none of that. I've been seeing this shit since day one. I've been here since day one, so, like, you know, you don't go to jail. You ain't got to play like you hard. Stay in your own lane, be yourself. Hey, I'm telling y'all, man, I just gotta listen though, for real, for real. I feel like right, a lot so, of shorties. So I'm gonna say this. Uh, ask me a question that you probably think like they probably want to know, or they probably want to ask me. Uh, what you think? Now like, we just gonna keep, like? we just gonna keep it real about everything, like it's no filter, ain't no filter. Like a lot of. Uh, have you ever ran from a nigga though? Nah, nah. Have you when you was in any situation, fathers a shootout, anything like? Have you ever been scared, like for your life type shit, or you like, oh, this shit can be over with? One situation. Uh, I did some long story short, try to rob somebody, and that shit turned sour. End up losing that one, that one situation. End up losing my gun. End up losing my chain. And I rapped about it in my song, like, and it was all facts, like. That's the only situation I was scared. I'm like, damn, this ain't ever how you die. And the first person I thought of was my daughter. Like, that's what I'm gonna tell the story. So I try to rob somebody. Post been a birthday, all that, whatever. I didn't know he was the birthday boy. I try to rob the nigga. Ooh, I'm like, give me that shit, nigga. Like, ooh, I popped in the, I popped in there. A nigga, I ain't playing your bitch. Just give me that shit. He like, ah, right, you got it. Then, so I'm reaching for the money, nigga. Like. I ain't going like that, bitch ass nigga. He grabbed my gun. He grabbed my gun. His homie grabbed a clip. I'm wrestling with two niggas and I got all this money in my hand like this. In my head, I'm just like, fuck. Like, 
shit. Like, I'm in trouble, but I'm thinking about my daughter and all I'm saying, like, this ain't ever how I go like this. And wrestling with him, nigga wrestling, got the clip. I'm supposed to get the jumping on my back, all type of shit. I ain't ever go to the ground. Long story short, I let the clip go. Nigga go with the clip. Chain get lost. My other chain. Chain get lost because I'm scuffling. Pablo was there. Shout out to Pablo. I love that nigga for that. He coming there. I'm like, Pablo, get these niggas up off me. He come back with a bottle. Like, he say some shit like, he ain't do it. Watch out or some shit. Niggas. <laughs> The niggas just get up off me. I feel a breath of just get up off me. I, huh, I run out of there. Niggas see me like, bitch, that nigga trying to ride the west. I ain't got no wind. So niggas try to sing on me. I'm like, I'm tired, man. I jump in my car, milky driving. I jump in the car like, just drive, bro. Get me up out of here. I can't breathe. Like, I'm tired. But I thought I was going to lose my life, bro. And I was scared. Like, I was scared. And that's just to say, like, I was the one that started that. So when you go looking for something, you catch the bad end of the stick. And I caught the bad end of the stick because I shouldn't have did that. But I was off drugs, too. So it influenced me. I ain't going to lie. It influenced me, too. So I take credit for that. So just don't. I ain't going to lie. Like, let trouble come to you. Don't go looking for trouble. Because when you go looking for trouble, like, you catch the bad end of the stick. That's the, and thing. RP, That's the main thing. And RP, that little shorty uh, bloodhound Jeff, he went looking for trouble. It's my example. He died on the hit. Nah, that's, like, I think that's a big you, thing you, though. You I catch the bad those. end that a stick, and, I, and, and I'm just I'm a I'm a firm I'm a, believer of that. Like, protect yourself at all costs. Protect yourself, please protect yourself. That's but facts, though. I gotta, I don't gotta go this. looking for that shit, man. Because I'm telling that shit, it end bad, like it and it do. And that's the fa That's the saying. Like, you go looking for trouble, you gonna get trouble. I went looking for trouble, I got trouble. But I rapped about that I shit too. Saying, yeah, you made some music about it. Like whatever. I rapped about that shit too. Like I rapped about it cause that's just what it was. What my rap say? Love Nikita like a brother, but he switched sides. I can't rock with him no more. I had to cut ties. All these niggas really pussy and they know it. Thought it was sweet up in that party. Had to blow it. Reached for my thirty. Now we fighting for the stick. These niggas hoes. Niggas ran like a bitch. I lost my chain and it really hurt my soul. If I catch you with it, I'ma snatch your soul. Back to these hoes, back to these hoes, nigga. Bitch on the shit. And if she bad, then I bet I hit that bitch. Let's beat these facts, let's beat these facts, let's beat these facts. Where you was at when we was out there in the trap? Just me and Mac, I got the scrap like where they at? Can't throw no party on your block, bitch. This ain't that. I hit that cover, I hit that cover. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, man. I'm dumb, but I'm just saying, like, when I rap, and that's why I ain't gonna lie, every time I wrote a rap, it took me, like, three to four days, because I just can't put no cap in my rap, like, I'm gonna put 85% truth in my rap, and I'm gonna put, like, 15 just to clear a bar, or to do a bar. Which a lot of, well, a lot of people do that, but, like, yeah, speaking on the music, though, like, what, how you, like, what's up with your music or whatever, you done making music, or you, you feel like you gonna come back out with some more music? I ain't gonna lie, I wanna play with it. Because you was on, like, about... This before I, I mean, I've been making music since 2015, but this before I took it serious and shit. You was on the road type shit. It was only you. I feel like, uh, who? Mel Cartel? Cartel was doing it. Dre was doing it. Dre, Trap. Trap. Uh, who else from Mel East? But it was, uh, Kenny doing it, Chief Luciano? Was he doing music like that? Yeah, he, he had his way too. Yeah, a little way. But Five is like buzzing and like, it was, I feel like yeah, it was y'all. Well, I had I ain't gonna lie, I had a good buzz because I, I was a shorty. I was a shorty. Like I had a good 16, buzz, but seven, my crowd was no, 15, my crowd yeah, was behind me like a hundred percent. Then you know all my bros they was fucking with me hundred percent. Then it's just like so it, it was behind me, and then I was like in jail and fresh out of jail. So my man, I'm just like I'm I'm motivated, I'm motivated. So I was doing that shit, and I'm like, oh, I'm getting the views, I'm getting all that shit. But I ain't gonna lie, when I had kids, it slowed me down. And then I ain't gonna lie, I just like I debated this shit. Like, do I really want to be a rapper? Because I feel like with that lifestyle, like, what come with it? It's a lot come with it. Like, I tell behind, people all that too. I tell doors. like girls that I fucked with in the past or whatever. Like, it's a lot. My lifestyle and everything I'm doing, it just did. I don't really like all this attention and all that shit. But it just what I want to do or where I want to go. It's like certain shit just. Be but I did. I ain't gonna shit. lie. I did the music for a hobby and I did the music to take a chance with it. But I never felt like. I needed the music Like I was Randell Before the music Like 
I mm -hmm. had clout before the music, so it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I ain't got to do shit. Like, my name speak for enough, speak for itself. So I feel like I ain't got to do shit, but I did, I did love that shit. I had passion for it for at a what time. Point, what point you came, like, you was like, fuck, like, not fuck the music, but you was just like, when fuck, I had, I'm just fall when back. When I had my daughter, when I had my daughter, 2018, when I had my daughter, like, I was still doing it, but it was just like, it, it one, just it the drive, and it just it, it just ain't the same for me no more because I ain't gonna lie, like I don't live that life no more. So it's like for me, like you want some other shit. What I'm gonna rap about, like I can rap about the past, I can rap about certain shit, but I'm just not him no more. So I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not that wild Randell. Like I can get wild, but I'm not him no more. So for me, it's just like you don't, you don't think you would tap into like I'll be like how I be on some like you know like you say you want to do the singing shit or like. The love song, the shit for ladies. And doing girls like always, like I ain't gonna lie, girls it. always told me, like, because I feel like you look like you could be a me singer. Personally, like, don't, I feel that, like you could do that. All that gangster shit you be talking, they like, I don't see that for you, like Randell, like, you like you could be a so. I, I feel, feel like, like, I feel like you could do that. Like, me, like, knowing your lifestyle and then knowing that you, because I know you want to do the music, but the music just ain't, ain't cutting it right now. If I, I ain't gonna lie, just, if, if I could get some auto tune on my shit. If Once I you get find your sound, y'all trust then me. Then I, I can make the music like I, I do like auto tune music. Like I feel like <laughs> he found his sound, his way, that wave, because he he got he know how to his wordplay, his his his, his mouth, his delivery. Like you say, you like feel me. Like, and all I do is listen to R&B songs. Like if y'all see me, yeah, when I'm like when he be shit, I be singing motivational girl songs, shit, speeches singing, and shit in the morning, like. Can you I stand like, the rain? Like, that's my favorite song. You, I, I ain't gonna lie, you could do it. That should be wrong with him. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him first in. My, like, I'm gonna criticize this shit because I, I make that type of music. I love that type of music. So when he do it, and I'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah, that mean, yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie because it's my uncle because. I feel like he got that in him though. I ain't, if I, if I ain't gonna lie. If I can fuck around with the R and B, I do I it. I feel like he got that in I'm him. I'm a matter of fact. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that for y'all because people gave me like pull ups. Like, yeah, you should probably like you. See, they like, gonna just try to say. They ain't gonna try to say like he light skin like, and shit. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. but that's cool though. I, I know. Look, <laughs> and I'm gonna say this though. I was all. I want ever the nigga that you wanted to try, but. I was the nigga that you thought about trying because you like he light skin. He got color ass. I wanted to see sweet. From middle school, ask girls that came up with me in middle school, from Brooks, high school, whatever. I ain't ever been no pussy, like no nigga you can point your fence, you pussy ass nigga, you goofy. I ain't ever been him. I always <laughs> been like the the wild one out the bunch. Like, shout out to the whole squad, but I always been a wild one. Like, I ain't ever been no bitch. I, never, <laughs> I ain't ever been no bitch. I ain't ever took my tail, like... Ain't nobody ever played me like you can't tell no stories where somebody did something to me and I didn't do nothing back. Like even if I lost, and I have I lost the fight. You know what? I was in Gavin. I used to run from this boy named Demetrius. He used to get out of school and he used to he used to get out of school like come here or something. I used to take off run. I used to take off running. <laughs> we got into it one time. Colton then was there. His big brother then was there. I got that man on the ground. And I pounded him out. He never played with me again. But I, I did, I did run for him. But he never played with me again. And 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 and, and speaking of like just like this, is what I'm gonna say. And, I, and I'm gonna just be real with this. Like a lot, a lot of y'all know me, right? I don't fuck with nobody. I don't start with nobody. I don't throw no shade at nobody. I ain't ever down talk nobody about no bitch. I ain't ever down talk about no pussy. Oh, I ain't ever did none of that. You know a girl. You fuck with a girl. That's cool. All my thing is just don't play with my baby mama. Play with anybody else. That's just law with the guys and just period. Don't play with my baby mama. Like that's that's something I don't play about. Just don't play with my baby mama. As long as my feelings in there, whether we together or not, if my feelings in there, just don't play with my baby mama. Like, I don't do none of that capping. A bitch gonna be a bitch, a hoe gonna be a hoe. Just don't play with somebody that I say I love because I'm a fight. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna shoot. I'll fight, but you wanna take it to that, we can do that too. You but I'm gonna fight. For it. I ain't gonna lie, like what I love, and this is just what I'm saying. What I love, I'm I'm gonna I'm go to war for. So speaking, I don't of love that, a lot of shit. Speaking on the on the love and all that shit, the situation, like what's your like what's your relationship status right now, like? And it had, like how many times? Cause everybody got their heart broke. How many times you got your heart broke? And do you feel like the Wait. heart broke is like? Do you think like that shit changed you too? Like for sure, for I got my heart broke. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say really. In reality, I'm gonna say I'm gonna probably say once. 
Shit, I got my shit broke like three I'm going to say once, and I was, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to say once. I was locked up. I was locked up. I'm going to say once. I was locked up. That hurt. That hurt worse than being out. Hell yeah, because, nigga, I was in there. I couldn't sleep. Like, I'm like. So this somebody is, so this so this somebody is to talk to. Anyways, she fucked with me, come to visit me. This is like I locked up for my gun case. She come to visit me. Then all of a sudden, like, come to visit me. And I'm like five hours away. She come to visit me, answer calls every day. Then like four months in, just like the calls stop answering, everything stop. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Everything yeah, going down the drain. Then I called and I found out she went back to her baby daddy. Okay, cool. But I'm in that bitch. Like, I can't sleep when I say, like, our breakfast train is coming at 4 in the morning. I'm up from fucking 9 a.m. to 4 in the morning. I'm just tossing and turning. Like, what's she doing? Fuck, I'm hurt. I'm mad. Like, I'm sad, but I'm taking this shit in. Then after, like, a month and a half, I got over that shit. When I came home, because a nigga thought he had a cuff, I you fucked her. And we was playing the switcheroo. Now I'm the meat man. Yo bitch asking the phone. She ain't calling who she with. Me, nigga the meat man. I was that nigga. But I did that shit because I was mad. Like, I got my get back. And I fucked at his crib. And I finessed him. <laughs> Checkmate. This how, this, this how this shit go. You Checkmate. Know. When you play, I ain't gonna lie. When you play with me, I checkmate. Like, when you play with me, I just gotta make sure you know, like, this I ain't yours, like, and it's the thing when somebody go to jail. If a girl though. was crazy over a nigga, just cause that nigga in jail, all that shit she playing with you, okay, that's cool. When that nigga come home, he's going to get that pussy again. This is a known fact. He's going to get that pussy again, whether that's you fair. know it. He's going to get that pussy again. Every bitch that I, when I left and they had a nigga when I came home and I called, I'm home or they knew. Can I come over? Yeah. Ain't you in love? It's confusing. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing, right? And I'm fucking her. Sending her right back home to him. Like, so this shit happens. This shit happens. So if you got a girl and you talking with somebody and her nigga locked up or the nigga she's fucked with before you locked up and you know she has strong feelings for him, nine times out of ten, especially if he got a close out date, just like he you. gonna get his meat back when he come home. Not even if they gotta be together, cause she played she played crazy with him for you. But he gonna fuck on her to show her they know bitch you was know. never over me and well, if you know you should know. That's all. Shit. If you don't know then you, you, you gotta wake up. Shit. You then uh, have a bird brain like these bitches I know, like for sure. But I was gonna say though, like uh Well my relationship uh um, yeah, what's your relationship it's, status? It's complicated right now. I ain't gonna lie. But I still love my BM. I still love her. I got love do you, for her. Do you, do you want to get married in the future? Is that a That's goal? in the plan. That's the plan. And I ain't going to lie. I can't because I can't say too much, but I want to be married by next year. I said 35. I want to be married by next year. I said 35. That was my goal. And I only wanted to get married because I didn't think too deep, but I've been to my baby mama's sister wedding. I've been to another wedding. And I'm just like the love and the way it makes a woman feel and the way it makes a man feel. I'm like, I want to give a woman that someday. I want to give my woman that someday. So... That was like a good thing. So, marriage is in my. In my yeah, I don't future. know. I want to be married too one day. I ain't gonna lie, to you. I don't know that though. That's the. It ain't really like I ain't really big on that shit. Like probably the paperwork and all that shit, but that's in my plans too. I want to be one woman type shit. Like, and I like, could be faithful. I know I, I could be faithful. I, I was gonna say like yeah, because a lot of people I think be faithful. for my family or whatever. Like with you, you dealt with a lot of women. You feel me? I dealt with a lot of women. So it's like we get judged so much from our past this what I'll just so much shit like they don't think uh, uh, we can they don't think we can do it man it ain't no faith, so no i ain't hope. gonna lie jail fucked me up and what i mean by that is like trust so my thing was like i always feel like i gotta put you through something for you to show me like you love me and that's me dogging you out and this and it's a bad concept i swear to god like it's the best but it could be anything concept. though this just his concept. and when i say dogging you out it's just like if i get caught cheating like okay stay with me you love me if i if i'm fucked up and i'm broke okay stay with me you love me so it's just like i had a, a weird concept because it's just like the women that said they love me and i went to jail they turn their back on me these are the same women i'm rubbing feet with like i'm taking out on dates i'm doing shit for us like you got my back and you left me. You left me on. So it's just like from that, 
it's like I gotta put you through something to see you you really love me, like cause all that saying you love me, and exactly. when it's good, anybody can be up with you when it's good. But when it's bad, who gonna be there when it's bad? Yeah, like be that when it's you. bad. When I lose that job, like I lose my car, like still be there, especially if you know I'm a go getter, cause I'm a go getter. I done lost in six year in two years, I done flipped six cars. I lose them, get them back, lose them, get them back, lose them, get them back. So I'm just saying, when you fucking with a nigga that you know gonna work and go grind, stick to the script. He's gonna come back up. Don't leave because he down for a month or two. Like, that's that's the shit women do. Like, y'all go cheat. And that's some shit y'all don't even wanna do. Y'all don't even wanna do this shit, but y'all do it because y'all like, y'all, y'all, y'all panicking. Caught another body and whole, and you don't even I'm not gonna lie, nigga. man. That's why I said, like, this shit so fucked up right now. Like, you can't take a person word for shit. It's like, don't nobody want to get their heart broke. So it's like everybody got somebody or they got somebody on the side or they know who going to be the next. And it's just like, it's fucked up. Stick with what you got. Work on what you got. Like, be with what you got. Like, foundations. Like, the easiest thing to do is quit and leave. That's the easiest thing to do to say I'm done. Easiest thing to do to say I'm not fighting for it. That's the easiest thing to do. The hard thing is to say I'm going to stay. We're going to work it out. That's the hardest thing. That's the hardest thing, but it's like it be worth it because when you out in it, like I didn't fuck so much, I didn't did so much, and I look up and I be like, I don't even love these women. I don't even fuck with these women. It just be she like, be cause I can do it, and to boost my ego, I'm doing the shit. I was fucking a lot of times just to boost my ego and say when we talk about hoes, our right, deal got the most hoes. Like y'all niggas can't fuck with me when it come to hoes, cause y'all already know I'm hitting shit. Like I'm knocking shit out. That was my mentality. And I thought it was cool, but I ran against one motherfucking my first life. Randell, you uh, you ran through. I'm like, what? I'm like, ran through how? They like, who haven't had you? I'm like, shit, all bad bitches had me. So what you talking about, motherfucker? Like you ran through. And this is how niggas look at females. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know females look at niggas like that. So it made me feel some type of way. So I ain't gonna lie. Like after that statement, I kind of got exclusive. And what I mean exclusive, I'm just like. Anybody ain't finna fuck with me. Like, I you gotta say. have shit going on. Because I was fucked with pretty bitches, but didn't have shit going on. So they was just pretty faces, pretty bodies, but nothing going on. So it's just like, you that's not nothing. Like, you can't be access to so many females just because you know you can get it. You gotta, and that was the thing. Because I man, know we I... gotta learn how to turn down women And too. it's discipline. That's why I said I was fucking women just because I can get them. Yeah, I got a nice mouthpiece. I look nice. I didn't really have to do too much. So I was fucking them. But I can say this. If you got a good woman... Cause I wish I could take this shit back. Like the shit I put on my baby mama, the one that I'm on and off with, the shit I put on her, I wish I never put on her because the way she used to be for me, yeah. sucking and fucking that wheel, all this and that, she not like that all the time. And it's like, I be mad, but I gotta take responsibility and ownership. Like I did that, like I caused it that because I cheated. I lied, I had kids. So it's like, I did a lot. So it's like now I'm taking slack Damn. that it's like motherfucker talking to me crazy when I want to say, bitch, do you know who I am? I'm taking that shit when motherfuckers acting like, woo, bitch, I can get another bitch. Like I can, I can move on, but it's just like, I don't want to have no ego with that situation because I fucked that situation up. I fucked it up. And that's what I'm going to say. Like, if you got a good girl, like nowadays, fuck the pressure, fuck what niggas doing around you, fuck the conversation. The internet, Stick with your said, girl, said, man. Do good. Like, if I can take this shit back, bro, and just be good to that woman, I would have be, been good to that woman. Like, no that's cap. Facts. That's facts. I can like, no 100%. cap. If I can take that shit back and be good to that woman, I'd be good to that woman. What about your baby mama? Honestly, it'd probably be fucked up now, but... Nah, yeah, you caused yeah, it right yeah, or wrong. Yeah, a lot of shit. Yeah, a lot of shit. That's why I said it's fast. Like a lot of shit, the situation I'm in mean, now, shit. I ain't gonna lie. In a way, I'm, I'm fucked up. But it's like I think I, I, I did this shit to myself. I ain't see the signs God was sending me or uh, the signs for myself. Just taking heed to certain situations. I just, I was young, living, and it's like now we here. But mm -hmm. I wasn't staying down. I wasn't staying loyal. I wasn't staying firm for my situation. It's like now I'm here. So it's like, it's fucked up. Like a lot of shit happened in life that you never expect to happen, but it'll happen. Like he said, shit, I'm 25, uh, what you mean, 30, 30, 34? 34. 34. Shit, 34. I'm 25, be 34. I, like on some real shit, y'all. You listening, or you in a situation, you feel like you want to give up, or you young, whatever it is, or you older with your, your woman. Y'all, man, y'all got to stick through that shit. Like for real, for real. Pray, communicate, 
and just stick through that shit because that shit when it's when it's over with, bro. I'm, yeah, over you don't know, you don't know, you don't know what's next in your life or her life or whatever it is. And I ain't gonna lie, like people say, don't try to just stay together for the kids, but that was it like gotta my, be just real with within y'all. Like fuck, the, I ain't gonna say fuck the kids, skip the kids and just all the other shit, the, the internet, the rumors. It gotta be with with y'all too. What y'all love about y'all self communication, the the loyalty, but just with y'all too. Mm -hmm. She got a one in a hundred percent. He got a one in a hundred percent. It can't be no 50, 40, none of that. Like, it, this shit got to be authentic. It got to be real. And, and, you gotta, the, you and, know? You, and you have to leave the egos at the door. And that's what I learned. Like, it's and, okay to apologize. It's okay to say you wrong. Like, it's okay for the admit your wrongs. It's okay to right your wrongs. Like, it's okay. Like, everybody, like, I don't want to be wrong. But, like, the biggest thing is communication. Like, at one point in time, I used to do uh, pull-up Sundays. Me and my girl mm -hmm. would go... We're going to, uh, on Sundays, we're going to the living room and shit she had a problem with, she addressed it. Shit that I had a problem with, but it's pertaining to her. And we'll be adults about it. And the, the agreement was, what I say to you can't get mad and it's just a pull up. Like telling you what I had a problem with and we communicate with it and we letting it go. We stopped mm -hmm. doing that shit, start getting wild. Like, but I can honestly say like, I wish I did diff shit different cause when I look at my daughter, I be like, my daughter want her mama and her daddy be in the same household. She just want that. And that shit deep I don't know if it's going to play like that, but she just want that. And it's just like, mommy be like, you might have a ooh, or daddy might. And it just be like, damn, like you fucked this shit up. And I think about that sometimes. So sometimes that shit be like tripping me out. And that's why sometimes I do fight. I'm a, I am ain't no prideful nigga. Like, I used to pop up at her crib. She got a ring camera. Randell, go on. Please go on. I'm on that bitch talking to the camera to motherfucker say something to me. Like, I'm going to be out here. Just open up the door. Like, baby. Woo, woo. Like, I don't have no pride for shit that I love. Like, I'm going to show my affection. Like, I used to be at that door. Like, she like... You talking all that tough shit, but you be at my door doing this, yeah. And I'm going to get on Facebook, I'm going to expose you. Get on Facebook, and I'm going to agree right with your ass. Like, and I'm not the nigga, if you bash me, I'm going to bash you back. And nigga, stop doing that. When a female get in her feelings, she bash you. Sit your ass down and take it. Like, you look like a bitch going back and forth with her. Like, all oh, finna expose this bitch. Y'all join my life. Like, let her do that. That's what women do. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand. If you respond, that's when the person either know you guilty or the shit is true. Nigga, my baby, my niggas to go back and forth with me. They posting dick pics, all this, this nigga, this, this nigga, bum, this nigga, stay over there, this nigga, do that. And all Randell used to do is keep his mouth closed. I think my dick still going for, uh, <laughs> shit. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, even shit. when a motherfucker throwing my low blows, as a crazy. man, let women do that. All that niggas going live and exposing your bitch exposed. Like, nah, let, let the women do that. Like, if that's what they going to do, let them do that. I didn't got exposed. I ain't even gonna say exposed because anything a motherfucker said about me, I just kept my mouth closed. But if you know, you know. Like I ain't gotta. I never try to front like got on jewelry. I never acted like I had money. I just like dressing nice. I just like jewelry. I just like doing shit. So if you thought I had money, that's cool. But I ain't ever been no broke nigga. Like people can't say they yeah, pay dude. my way. People can't say like I always pay my way to clubs. Yeah. I done pay people way in clubs. Like I take trips. I do shit. So I work for what I want. I have mismanaged money. Yeah. I need to manage money better because I play with so much fucking money that I should be fucking up, up. But I mismanage money. I go to the boat, jag off hundreds, thousands. Like, I do dumb shit. So I, I make the money. The money's there, but it's just like so... Same I don't, but I don't tell people like, oh, I got this life. I don't, oh, I need designer. Oh, I wear designer. You broke like people wear designer. People be talking, oh, I don't wear that. Like, come on, man. My face, I'm designer. Randell is designer. That's how I always looked at like my name. Like, I don't need that shit. I dress in just nice clothes. If I like nice clothes, I wear nice yeah, clothes. I, already brand I don't need fucking all that. But I'm going to tell you, if I had the money for it, Certain shit be again. I do like Dior as far as they shoes. <laughs> I do like Dior. I like they shoes. I like. I like certain shoes Certain shit But I ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna fuck myself up Over that shit Or I ain't gonna act like I need that image. shit Cause the same women That niggas be bumping With that shit I bump dressing Just regular Like just looking nice Just regular I bump them same females I done had them same females That niggas had to pay Facts. for I ain't ever pay for no woman I ain't ever Facts. Try to stunt to no woman A woman can tell you Randell just been Randell They done been in that room Like They know that I don't it's stunt to nobody, it's man. It's, it's, it's in us. It's not, it's and I'm not ashamed of nothing that I'm going Easy. through because where I'm at don't dictate where I'm going or who I am. It just don't. Easy. And this video getting long, so let's... Well, I'm going to say, let's speak on the... Uh, 
Like with the uh, how you feel about like family though? Like with the with the family and shit, whatever. I love Five. all my family, but it be too much like competition or like competing or people thinking people think they better than people. I'ma just say this for the record. I love all y'all. We didn't all slept on Mama Flo. We didn't all slept on that couch. We didn't it's been twenty of us living in fucking one house. My auntie, right. her kids, my grandma, we all stayed in some house. So I can't be nobody that think I'm better than y'all. And when I make it, y'all make it with me. For whoever feels some type of way or Randell this and that. But y'all know I done looked out for some of everybody. Money, clothes, whatever. Huh, huh. I love all y'all. I don't want no competition with nobody. But I'ma just say, if you ain't did shit, stop acting like you did shit. Cause we found it. We know who did shit. Uh, if you don't get it, that's cool. This go for anybody else in their oh, family, man. too. Like, I'm just, not into it with my family members, but I'm just saying when it comes to family, when somebody doing better than the other person, y'all got to stop thinking they think they better because this the shit you put in your head. How they think they better because they smiling every day and you frowning. They dressing and you not. They taking showers and you like, how do he think he just, they, mm -hmm. he or she just taking care of themselves. That's it. So you got to stop just because you sitting around and you watching a motherfucker make moves. And now you plotting in your head and just saying, when he walk past, oh, he think he better. When y'all walk in the room and hoes on him or hoe or niggas on her, she thinks she get all the niggas. You putting this in your head. They just being See, them. You like putting this in your head. Stop doing that. Stop competing with your own fucking family. And friends, stop competing with your friends. Like, y'all know this shit since the same people that said had the man, them that been the ones since y'all was little. So the attention people get, y'all should be fucking shocked because this, this this shit they been getting since y'all was kids. Yeah, so y'all should be shocked. If they been getting a lot of attention for so many years mm -hmm. or for a long time, it's like, y'all like just fought a lot. Bro, and I'm going to be real. Since I was in fucking second grade, I was getting three or four girls sending me letters like, Randy, you want to be my boyfriend? Circle, yes or no? I always been a had the man. I always like so when it come to popularity of cloud, I don't gotta do shit. I take my Facebook down. My shit be down for a year. I don't need to post on that every day to make motherfuckers know me. Or, like they know who I am in person. My value is in person. When people see me, like same people that act like this and that when I see them in person, their energy be different. Their energy mm -hmm. can't fuck with my like I look boy motherfuckers. I look girl motherfuckers. Like for real, for real. Like cause they know. Like for Love. real. Really like, come on, man. Shit. I ain't gonna say I'm on no level, but all I'ma just say is I'm respected and I earned everything about my name. I earned it. I earned it. I earned it. Like, I earned everything about me. I earned it. And, th and nowadays, and this, this is a point I want to bring up people post guns and certain shit and get clout just off hanging around people and doing shit. No, in my day, you got your motherfucking clout for doing it. Not being a nigga in a, in a clique for doing the shit. So ran, when they say Randell, Randell's out there shooting. Girls could win instead. Randell was out there fighting. Girls could win instead. Randell went to jail. Girls could win instead. Ain't nobody play me. Niggas could win instead. So I earned it. So niggas be won credit because you holding a gun. But what you did with that gun? What do people know? And the heist is little. Your, your town is little. Mm -hmm. So if you making noise... People going to know you making noise. A lot of y'all ass got names for being in clicks. The clicks, no. Take my, take ABK out of my shit. Take Out East out of my shit. Randell got his name for putting in his own work from putting in work in jails. Spare niggas, catching niggas, giving niggas passes in jail, on the streets, sliding, doing certain shit. Like, I did that. So it's just like, I, I made my own name. So for a lot of y'all, don't go try to make no name, but if if you ain't did shit, like, what is you really talking about? Like, for real, for real. Like, a lot of y'all be showing guns and girls be like, oh, he crazy. But what that boy did with that gun, your ass really a holster because you just holding a gun. Like, you not doing shit with it. Like, a lot of y'all little boys don't have no credit. And I used to say this all the time. I used to talk about the chief shorties. They used to be like, they out here doing this and that. Or they try to compare like, oh, ooh, ooh. and I used to be like, nigga, we went to jail for bodies. We did this, we did that, ooh, ooh. They didn't have that at the end. So at one point in time, I wasn't giving them credit. I'm just like, yeah, they doing this now. Okay, cool. But when they start going to jail, start catching bodies, I'm like, okay, that go to that go to background. Or whatever. That go, that go to proof. So this is just what I'm saying. When you doing shit, and not saying go do this dumb shit, because right. I don't want y'all to do this shit. But understand, 
I'm gonna respect you for what I know you doing. If I know you ain't did shit, I'm not respecting you. So when I see a lot of niggas, I don't acknowledge them because you are really a nobody. And by me being who I am, I'm gonna show you a nobody. Like these niggas that wanna fit in, they gonna act like you somebody because most of them is nobodies. Mm -hmm. But I only give respect to people that I know did some of your name, speak for yourself. Take the click out your name, just you, your work. I give you, I give your respect, and a lot of niggas they don't be like that. A lot of y'all be trying to just fit in. Just fit, just fit in. in. And I'm telling y'all, the best hand is him. Like this. Go to every party you want to. Be around whoever you want to. And you ain't got to watch your back. Only thing he got to watch for is a nigga hang. It's the only thing he got to watch for. A nigga hang or he probably fucked that bitch. A nigga feel some type of way. That just That's the only that. thing he got to watch for. But I still tell him to be aware to be alive. So I still tell him to be on point. When we go to clubs, we don't leave fucking clubs when it's... If the club end at 2 o'clock, we out the club at 1.30. You don't ever get nobody time to prepare for you and set you up and be waiting for you. You leave mm -hmm. early to fuck up their plans. Like, anytime, don't ever leave nowhere when the fucking place end. End, leave 30 minutes early every time. Breach of security. Like, we own all that. We've, it's been an hour. Like, Thanks. right? Just, what? Any more Since questions? I see what the time it is. Like... I don't know how this interview right. was, y'all. Like, and I don't think I don't know if I covered everything, but I feel like I did. But I don't know if I covered everything. But me personally, it was it was good. It was uh, it was authentic. It was real, you know. I told I nephew. Like you feel like you feel we spoke on what we we were supposed to speak on a lot of stuff. And this just just because this this his first episode, that don't mean it's just the only time he gonna get in the car. He can be on episode 20, 30, whatever, down the line, whatever. That's what anybody, like I said, like, you know? And so. for all y'all who wait to get on his episode, like, when shit cloud up and it get better, that shit gonna be over with, because he gonna start charging in a minute. And this shit, we already plotted. So for all y'all niggas sitting around, all y'all females sitting around, I'm gonna wait till the cloud go up, then try to get in with him. Y'all ass gonna have to pay when that shit happen. Right, right now, if you got a storyline or if you got something to say, get in with him now to put your story out, period. Because mm -hmm. when this shit blow up, you the one got to charge to sit in this car. You the one got to pay to sit in this car. For real. You got to pay to sit in this car because he promoting you and he giving you clout. So all y'all sitting around, oh, I'm going to wait till this person on there when y'all see a big name on there. And I feel like I'm a big name. So get on there. I feel like I'm a big name. But I told them few, I'm going to get on there. But I had something to say. And what I had to say was my message just for the young motherfuckers like, it's too much going on. Don't let nobody see you off. If a motherfucker say they your big bro, they shouldn't be putting no gun in your hand to tell you gonna do something. Cause hell for these niggas, they being fathers. They being fathers. And why y'all little motherfuckers doing this shit like y'all ain't got Send kids too? Y'all got kids too. Be a fucking daddy just like them. If these niggas ain't sitting around doing something, how the fuck y'all just let them get y'all high and give me y'all guns, go do this shit? Fuck a real big brother. That's why I say I'm a real uncle. I'm a real big brother to him because I tell him. Nephew, don't do shit that I wouldn't do. And I know this shit ain't for him. Like, but right. he ain't no hoe. Right. He ain't no hoe. He'll fight. He'll shoot. He'll do what he got to. He ain't no hoe. But it's just right. like, if he ain't got to prove that, then why prove that? And then prove that to who? Like, for what? And then, like, I'm, I'm going to say this. A lot of y'all, like, RP to all y'all people, whatever, RP to all our people. But, like, it's like people die, and then y'all just go, like, to, on to the next day, and y'all just party and kick it like ain't nothing happened. Like, it's just like this. Like, that shit, that shit sick. Like, when you gone, you gone forever. Forever. So, it, it, ain't, this shit, it ain't a game. It's ain't this no shit real life. Like, so, like you said, like, y'all gotta wake up. For real, for real. Like, what's y'all plan? What's y'all future? What y'all really wanna do? Like, like it's, like I said, ain't the shit wrong with y'all doing what y'all doing. Okay, everybody do a little drama or a little bullshit or whatever it is. But, what's y'all plan? What's y'all future? Like, people die and y'all just get over that shit in a week. And I, I, I see this shit from where I'm from. Like, I see people dying every day. And I don't like that shit. That shit's sick to me. I ain't gonna lie. That's that shit's scary. Like, I don't know. And I'ma just say this. <laughs> this this like So know. my homie 50. That was my like my rappy. He got locked up in 2012. He's still locked up. He just not finding his he just not going to court for his body. Twelve years later. Twelve years later. Got 35 years. He had a case he had to take 25 years for. He got sentenced? He still yeah, he got sentenced. I just went to court for him. He had 25 years. He had, a, he had a first case he had to do 25 for. Mm. He doing 21 off that. Them people told him, so he got to do 21 off that. Just listen to what I'm saying. The lady told him, that time don't count. When you dump that 21, then you can start this 31, this 35 for this murder. So all together, 50 would be like 79 when he come home. If God willing, he going to come home before that. And we going to pray and we going to bless him. But I'm just saying this to say. 
he was one of the toughest niggas out of ABK. The hardest name. Like, didn't play with no pushover. But what yeah, he at shit. now and what he facing, and he, he said kids. he hurt. He got kids. He hurt. I hurt for my brother. Like, that shit made me shed a tear like I was upset. But it's like, I didn't say, I didn't heard my first like, oh yeah, he got a hundred years. He got 30 years. He got 50 years. But it ain't ever been my brother, somebody I grew up with. So that shit hurt. Like that man was in in trial. He wouldn't even try. He went to court, but he had to take that shit. He just like, I'd rather take this than these people say 70 and I die in jail because I'm like a hundred, 120, 110. So people like, I wouldn't have took that time. I would have took the trial. Nigga, if you know your life and you know they, you guilty or you know they got evidence and you're going to be like, I got to do what's best for me. But my whole point of saying that is this. Just to live up to that name, man, that shit ain't worth what, what comes with that in the end. That jail time, like when all you little niggas that act tough, you niggas was in a county off nanas, off meds. You niggas couldn't deal with that time. Y'all did that time taking drugs. When you niggas out here commit crime, y'all taking drugs. You niggas not doing this shit off pure and drilling or pure. This is you. You being influenced by drugs. So first and foremost, you not as gangster as you think you is because every time you have to be off a drug when you commit a crime. Mm -hmm. So this is not you. Let's let's be real. You niggas not built for this. All you tough shorties, I done heard stories about you niggas in the county, been on decks with your ops, you not doing shit, you niggas being in that bitch, you getting bitch, you tucking your tail because you ain't got no gun. I done heard all it. these stories. Stop playing tough and acting like you that when you not that. Be your fucking self. It's cool. I'm telling you, it's cool. I do not want you niggas to lose y'all life behind this shit. I do not want you niggas to go to jail behind this shit. Because you niggas going to jail and y'all off them drugs and y'all in that bitch like zombies. Y'all not taking that time like a man. I did my six years like a man. I ain't ever did no drug in that bitch. Do your time if you do the crime. But if it's not for you, stop acting like that. Let's bring back fight. Fuck the guns. Let's bring back fight. Fight. If a nigga on the book woofing, meet up and fight. That's it. You motherfuckers want to shoot all the time. This shit don't even be worth it. Oh, he sneaked this under a post. I got him when I can't. You niggas throwing y'all life way over dumb shit. Right For real. Right dumb there. shit. Shit that could nigga fight. If you lose a fight, so what? You fall. What y'all niggas don't get? You fall. You lose a fight, you fall. That's why you get the credit, you fall. You're not going to win every fight because it's always going to be somebody tougher than you. Always going to be somebody bigger than you. It's the internet though. See, it's, it's the he say she Damn, say. you can lose a fight. What the fuck? You done seen whip bitches get whooped? And niggas still wanna fuck them. Niggas still wanna be with them. You done seen niggas get like you can lose a fight. Yeah. And that yeah. shit don't have to go to gunplay every fucking time. Man, you niggas take it to gunplay about the dumbest shit. For That's real. I, I ain't gonna lie though. I just pray like everybody, even though the whole city, not just where we from, the whole city, like he's saying what he's speaking on. I pray everybody just get it together. Like, I know it's a lot of blood and shit, but, man, it's like, bro, this shit just be pointless. Bro, the bigger picture is if y'all can sit down, and y'all big homies, whoever, if y'all can sit down, bro, and come to the table, y'all all lost the same thing. What y'all gonna keep saying, he took this from me, he took this from me, they gotta die. Bro, it's gonna end up with you down in jail. That's how this shit gonna end. I had to change my ways from robbing, shooting, killing, stealing, and game bang. I ain't ever killed nobody. I shot people, I ain't ever killed nobody. But I had to change my ways. When I shot somebody, I'm like, ooh, I shot somebody. I'm thinking like, that shit cool. But if I really kill somebody, I think that should have been on my conscience. So people that kill people, I know that should be on y'all conscience. I know that person, I know that person hunting y'all. But it's just like, y'all want to save a name and be the toughest. That shit ain't cool no more. Like, for real, like, the niggas y'all call goofies, them the cool niggas now. Like, I really think being gangster is, is goofy to me now. Because the way you niggas glorify and the way y'all go about yeah, it, the shit is goofy now, is bro. Different. Like, Super it's goofy. Different. I look at y'all like the goofies now. Like, you can say Super what you goofy. want to, but I look at y'all like the goofies because you niggas got to go... You niggas can't even go with your mom in the grocery store. You niggas can't even walk your mom out like you put your mom in risk. And some motherfuckers like, whoever with you, we getting all of them. You with your daughter, we getting them. You with your mom, we get like, that shit not cool, that's bro. You putting thing. people in, in danger that don't got nothing to do with nothing. Harm. Like, that shit don't like, the realest shit I can say, bro, be yourself. And if you can avoid it, avoid it. Avoid it. If it comes to your front door, When I'm different. in clubs, bro. And I'm in that bitch, I'm walking through shit, and motherfuckers bumping through me. And if I bump to somebody, excuse me, bro. I don't give a fuck how tipsy, how lit I am, because I know I didn't try to bump it to him. I'm just moving fast. Excuse yeah, me, bro. You gotta play tough. Excuse me, bro. 
Niggas bump it to me, excuse me, big bro. Like, okay, cool. I walk right off. Like, you niggas make everything about being tough. And then when y'all in front of these girls, that's y'all seeing y'all stuff off the most because y'all think y'all got to be tough to hug. You don't have to be tough all day. And this, this is shit. My baby mama said, I can't wait to see you fight a nigga. You always acting like tough to me. I say this shit to her all the time. I'm not going to fight a nigga. I don't have to fight a nigga because niggas know about me. But I say this when a woman playing crazy and disrespecting the motherfucker, Niggas don't talk to niggas like this, so how the fuck you think a nigga won't get aggressive with you when you talking to him like he a bitch when he know what he done been through? Mm -hmm. Now, a bitch nigga just gonna do bitch shit because he know he a bitch. But when you out with me and you see me with motherfuckers, niggas ain't shaking my hand because I'm friendly. Niggas shaking my hand because they know about me and they respect me. That's the difference. A lot of you niggas think y'all respect it. You niggas not respect A lot of you niggas be friendly. I'm not friendly when niggas shake my hand. It's a, it's a respect thing. What's up, Randell? They acknowledge me. Or because niggas done told me. Oh, I done asked about you. You official. Oh, I asked about you. You a... <laughs> Duh. Fuck is you talking about? Oh, y'all niggas, big homies. Them the niggas I was in the field with doing shit with. Like, so niggas know from the city, from every part, Killer Ward, the Dome, everywhere. I know main hitters and main niggas, and they took their hat off to me. So I've been a real nigga to them in real situations. So I just say this to say, be yourself, stand 10 toes, and stick to what you stick to. And always be you. Be you. Fuck the trends. Like the women, the niggas right now, everything a fucking famous person posts finds a woman. You, you bitches posting, re, uh, acting like motherfuckers that's, that's famous when y'all ain't. Like, be y'all self. That's like, y'all, how would y'all feel if a that's nigga was insane. always walking around acting like these rappers or being trying to be a rapper? You would be like, nigga, be And y'all being like these women, that's. That's famous. They posting something. That's law. When they posted, it's law. Like, huh? This it's not going got, on in your real they, life. They they making way more different money than the regular average. And Trey said, like y'all y'all speaking on language, like y'all in Atlanta, like y'all ain't heard me one time on this interview saying any trend words. I don't get no fuck about no trend words. None all type shit. I don't say that gump dumb goofy. Ass. Like I'm me. Like. I'm saying the shit that I know what's going around in my hood that I'm saying. Like, y'all let's want to trend with everything. You don't have to be nobody but yourself. And if you think I'm more than what I, I am, or if you think I got more than I got, you thought that. I never said that. I never said, oh, Next I'm getting all this money. That. Oh, I'm doing all this. Neither oh, I ain't balling. I'm doing this. That. I just got just motion. I just got ourselves. motion. And motion is having a job. And motion is doing what you want to and paying your weight. That's motion. Take care of kids. Do what you got to do. I hope y'all enjoy things. Though. I hope y'all enjoyed this Simple interview. Things. I hope I answered everything. Or I hope I said everything. I really feel like man, this nigga can go on because we had an hour and eleven and twelve minutes. Like I just got to cut this we shit all, all day. But it's a lot that I could talk about. But we gonna, the main we thing, tune back in for part, part two. two. We gonna part tune two back in part two. And if y'all got any questions, hit them up with the questions. Y'all probably want to ask me. Whatever. But my whole concept, but I wanted this. I just want to share some light on for the people that don't know me. The youth going that. Or who I am, what I am about. I just want to get back to the shorties and just say, like, just be yourself. Like, That's I don't, it. I don't like That's all this killing. Thing. I don't be like all yourself. this trying to be shit. I don't like. Like, I just want you to be yourself. Let's see who can put their mama in the big house first. See who can back That's the gangsters. Car. That's the gangsters. Let's play that. Let's play that game. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get to that first. Let's see who can do that. Cause all the other shit, like Unc said. That's e that's easy. It's easy to go pick up a gun. It's easy to go do this. That's easy. And go do go go put the work in to do what's hard and then brag on that. And then tell your ops or whoever y'all into it with whatever it is. I did this for my mom. What you did for your mom. I did this for my and kid. And, 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 and it's some real shit. Never go harder than a person for their own situation. Never go harder than them for their situation. Like if somebody fought, somebody got their ass whooped. And they ain't going hard. You don't go harder than them for their situation. Like, I done seen. So, I used to be the nigga that everybody called. Like, bro, this happened. Woo -woo. But, nigga, if I'm watching how you doing, if you not going hard for what the fuck is I'm finna be looking for this nigga with a gun for if you ain't looking for him with a gun? What the fuck is you just seen? Like, never go harder than someone for their own situation that they not going hard for. So, if something happened to your brother and you see this nigga not out sliding, he not doing shit, what the fuck is you going hard for for? Any situation, you get a call about something. He, the person that it's about, if they not going hard about it or standing on ten toes about it, then you fall back. Because what the fuck is you finna send yourself off for his situation for? I used to do that. Mm -hmm. People that I know do that. They go harder than people for their own situation. And you not even addressing the situation like that. This nigga used to be in situations. I used to be on 10 
Nigga, we finna do the nigga, we finna do that. But I had to tell myself, like, I got too involved with his shit. Because this is my nephew. But I, I had to tell myself, first and foremost, they younger than you, and this is his beef. And how he handled it, so I had to step back from shit. That's all I'm telling y'all. Situation, step back from it and look at the shit from nice. a bigger point of view. Just step back from it. If the person who the shit about, they don't go hard for it. Like if somebody dying, it's their brother, they sister, and they not slam for it. What the fuck is you slam for? Because what? How can they hold you accountable not holding themselves accountable? Go do something. Don't wait for, go do something. Don't wait for me. Don't call me on my name. Go do something about it. And let me know you did something about it. Don't call me. Go do something about it. So if people ain't doing shit about it, how the fuck they gonna hold you accountable for shit? Don't hold me accountable for something you're not holding yourself accountable for when that's your blood, 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 or that's your brother, 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 that's your cousin, that's your oh, friend. Anything. anything. When it comes to anything. You just like if you're not gonna go hard about it, how the fuck can you say, oh, he a bitch? Nigga, you ain't do shit about it. So what the fuck is you talking about? I'm grown. I'm 34. And that's not no sneak this, nigga. Y'all ain't afraid. That's what any situation, though. Like he said, y'all, whatever y'all going through or whatever the situation may be, don't go harder than the next person and put your life on the line or risk yourself because if they ain't doing it, why you doing it? Facts. Yeah. If it's your cousin, your brother, your whatever, like, you feel me? But y'all ain't know, man. It's your boy MTT Rose, you know. Episode 10 again, Rose the Podcast. You know, we got Uncle the Cobb special episode. It's the longest episode. If y'all want part two, tune in for part two. Because I already know this is going to be lit. Because guess what? When I post it, I'm putting captions to this shit so y'all can tune in for real. And like, we spoke on a lot of. Are y'all going to. We spoke on a lot of topics. If y'all don't. If y'all. Y'all don't know. We spoke on, on some real shit, though. Like. I like this episode, and I feel like because it's for the for the for the youth, mm -hmm. and for, our, for my generation and, and the generation that's and when I called you, us. and when I called you, what I said, I said we so got to do that, that get in because yeah. it's like a lot of shit going on. And I just want to speak some real shit. I said that. I'm glad we spoke on like we. But this is how we speak though, day in day out. Uh, we've been like this. We've been tight. If y'all don't know, since I was born, shit. I've been around. I've been watching this nigga since he was a baby. Like, I'm nine years older than him, but I seen every step. Like, I'm proud of this little nigga. I love this little nigga. Like, if I could be like, who gonna be my protege? My protege, or who gonna take over after me? It's my nephew because he walk and talk the same language I do. Like, with everything, with females, with handling itself, with dressing, with take. Like, he do it. Like. Oh, people be saying certain shit but they be like why you fuck with rose why rose don't challenge me when i say something is low and it's this this thing is about when it's your turn it's your turn when it's my turn it's my turn right now i'm still in my prime he still gotta learn but when it's mm -hmm. his turn i can fall back and i can be cool with that it's on you now like my big brother mac it was on him i fall i was the i was the perfect soldier everything he said i'm doing i'm holding the gun i'm doing certain shit his word was law. I don't challenge him. I don't do none of that. Because I know, nigga, you was protecting me. You was watching out for me. Niggas ain't fuck with me because of you. How could I act like I forgot that? And it's like with him. When he ready, it's going to be on him. And I'm going to be the nigga that's sitting back while it's on him. And then it's going to be who mm -hmm. under him. But y'all got to understand, just pay y'all respect, man, and learn how to respect people that was before y'all and stop play trying to disrespect everybody and act so role. gangster. Play your role, bro. You got to be a soldier to be a general. You have to be a good soldier yeah. to be a general. I was a good soldier. Now I'm a fucking general. Just play y'all role. Play your role, man. man. Be your, play your role and be yourself. I don't look down on nobody. I don't look down. Everybody gonna win at the end. I don't look down on him when he do something. I know how to play background when he doing something. Even though I feel like I'm in front of him, I still be like, I can play the role. When he doing a video, like, I need this, or I'm doing this. I'm supporting, I'm doing that. When he need, like, I'm playing the role. Sometimes, nigga, I'm his second. Sometimes I'm his second and he the first. And I'm mm -hmm. older, but I don't feel bad because of that. Because I know his win is my win. His win is my win. I know that when my nephew That's make it, his win is my win. Y'all be looking at it like other people, in people just going to win and they going to lead. No, they win is your win. So support your people. And stay down and just stay loyal. It's That's your it. win. Like That's people simple. don't know how to play their role. Like nigga, when he doing shit, anytime he doing something I'm around, y'all know I'm on stage with him. I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm 34. I'm dancing with him. I'm, I'm promoting with him. When he was doing, when he started this shit, he doing this. I got people outside his car. You next, you next. I'm playing my role. I'm playing my fucking role because it's a team effort. I'm playing my, learn how to play your role. Just because a person got the spotlight, don't be mad or jealous. Because when yes. he get the spotlight, like if this, if this nigga blow up, and he going to blow up off this podcast. If this nigga blow up first, I know I'm coming with him. I know when he get the meals. I know I'm getting a car. 
I know I'm getting a house. I know I'm going to be on the road with him. So what the fuck is I'm acting like I have to compete with him for his spotlight? It's his spotlight. Get in with Rose. Duh. Fuck you talking about. Get in. I know, man. This is episode 10. You feel me? Get in Rose. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, you know. Appreciate and they gonna up. watch this whole interview. Appreciate us for coming through because this is <laughs> real facts. <laughs> hey, like, they gonna watch this whole interview. Comment, One they gonna watch this whole interview on my door. Right they gonna know. watch this whole interview. See y'all soon, man. See y'all episode twelve. Oh, it's 10, free fifty Randell no. on free fifty Randell on Instagram. My Facebook down. Fuck Facebook. Free fifty Randell on Instagram. You know. That's it. Uh, F R E E F I F T Y R A N D E L L. Free Fifty Randell. And A B K Randell on YouTube and all that. If y'all want to listen to music, tune in. Sure. You feel me? See y'all next episode. We got to have fun. Uh, she want to party with Rose. All she got to do is get in with me. Uh.